Hi there again, Pisces. Davici here from astrology.com.au with your monthly overview. Happy New Year, by the way. It is uh, a little bit late for me to be saying that, but uh, I've been a little bit lazy. <laughs> Nonetheless, I have your charts here, and I'm looking there at the very powerful new moon and transit of Venus just about now into your 11th zone of uh, social activity. So this is a very strong signature for you know, getting out there and uh, making your mark on the social scene, uh, reconnecting with friends, those people that can help you in business because we've just had Venus moving through your career sector uh, in the upper part of your horoscope. And I mentioned last month that this should have brought you a reasonably good, uh, happy Christmas and a uh, reasonably good period in your social endeavours. There is a right angle to Uranus going to occur just now. So it may be that there could be some functions or events that you want to participate in, but financially can't. You mustn't let that get you down. Uh, and we see that also by the fact that Mars is in your zone of expenses. That's aspected by Jupiter from the fourth house. So <coughs> it's a matter of prioritising what it is you really want to do just now. So these aspects we see from uh, Venus, which is also one of the expense planets, pointing to the fact that this could be a month where you're a little low, a little drained on financial um, ca your financial capacity. So just take your time, prioritise what's important just now. But certainly you can still enjoy the company of friends, even if you're not going to spend big on going to all those elaborate functions or buying expensive tickets to concerts and whatnot. Jupiter continues to move through your zone of uh, domestic circumstances. This is also a very important transit. A <coughs> couple of points, because this is your one of your ruling planets. Anyhow, according to the old astrology, Jupiter is your ruler. New astrologers refer to Neptune as your ruler. But there is a, uh, let me just have a look at this, a stationary direct. What we mean by that is that Planets apparently move in retrogression, backwards and forward motion, relative to the other planets moving past them. Very much like a car on the highway, uh, appearing to move backwards only because you're going a little faster than that planet. <coughs> right now, however, on the 30th of January, at the end of the month, your ruling planet moves into a stationary direct movement. So it's almost like the two cars are at exactly the same speed. So therefore, the car next to you, that is Jupiter, the planet next to us, appears to be stationary and that's a very powerful testimony of uh, collecting your energies and uh, finally being clear on what it is you want to do in respect of your domestic circumstance. For example, some of you have been maybe thinking of moving or making some big changes in your domestic situation, real estate, property, etc. Now is the time you'll have all the information and you can do that. I mean, we often hear about the um, retrogression of Mercury. Oh, Mercury's retrograde. But the other planets are also prone to doing that. So right now we've had Jupiter in retrogression. Sometimes Mars and Saturn, Venus are in retrogression. <coughs> so for you, the retrogression of this planet and now its stationary movement where it moves forward, direct, <coughs> is actually a very, very good thing. Uh, Jupiter is one of my ruling planets, so I can tell you when when these planets go in retrogression, things tend to go a bit haywire and you can't seem to get things going. You make all this effort and actually what I'm finding now, the best thing is just to let it go. Just sit down and relax, have a cup of coffee or whatever you do. Long cup of coffee when it's lasting a month or two. But uh, <coughs> then uh, reignite your, your energy and your spiritual uh, vibe to do what has to be done. And that can happen later in the month. Now, we see just prior to that to the 26th, good aspects from the sun. That's the health planet, work planet. <coughs> health and vitality should be better. You should be stepping up your exercise routine at this month. And Mercury, the planet of uh, relationships, along with the moon. Moon is a new moon, right? So that could show a new relationship for some of you. And Mercury, the communications planet. Moving into the quiet zone of your horoscope, um, let's have a look at that. That moves there on the 19th. Should show that you have an opportunity to recharge your worn out batteries and to do communication of a, a more sort of silent or um, 
subtle nature. That could be um, writing poetry, um, sending sending uh, emails which have a you know a good uplifting message to them. This is self healing. This is a self meditative introspective cycle it lasts for about a month and we'll talk more about that uh, next month when I see you here in the meantime you can visit my website astrology.com.au we have the daily monthly and also now I've uploaded the yearly readings I do that in January each year so you can get a long term view a general view of course of what's happening to your sun sign of Pisces and don't forget all our other free services there you know we've got a lot of you know, Chinese astrology dominoes runes, <coughs> the oracles there that are very helpful to thousands of people that come to our site every day. And don't forget, for more detailed and accurate reading, because this is sun sign general astrology, uh, we have a lot of uh, practitioners there, including myself, and uh, you're more than welcome to drop us a note if you'd like us to point you in the right direction. Take care. Happy New Year again. Bye, Pisces. <laughs>